Welcome back, my YouTube friends. This is Richard, founder of ShortTermRentalSecrets.com and Airbnb Superhost. On this episode of Motivational Monday, we're going to talk about A, B, C, mm, not C, how about L? Always be learning. So this episode is really prompted by the fact that I had two good friends of mine say two exact opposite things at different times, not together, and I'm trying to like reconcile it and figure it out. And there is a common thread, and that's the point of the message. One friend said to me, Richard, do you ever work? Like all you do is you ski and you travel, and I don't understand when you ever do any work. And yet somebody who knew me actually better said the exact opposite. Richard, you're always working. Like, do you ever not work? And the reality of it is, is my work, as I define it, is to learn. I'm always learning. I read as much as I possibly can. I don't know what the point of the reading is. I don't know whether I'm going to actually do something like that, but I've been reading my entire life and I think there's tons of information. And the key to that information is how you assimilate it and use it. Steve Jobs famously said, it's how you connect the dots. And so let me give you a perfect example. I was recently in Jackson Hole. I'm looking to invest there. and. Um, Turns out I'm, I found not only one investment, but probably th closer to three. And I'm going aggressive on it. I think it's a great opportunity. And the reason I can go aggressive and think it's a great opportunity is because I've been doing real estate for over 20 years. And so when the opportunity presents itself, I can pounce. But more realistically, it's not that the opportunity presented itself, it's that I've created the opportunity for myself. Because I've been studying real estate, because I've been a successful investor, because I understand how deals are done, I'm looking for things and I know when I see something that's great and then I can push and push and push. So let me give you this example. I was reading the local paper and I read about a deal that you, know, you couldn't imagine happening today about one of the first very successful developments there. There's a couple thousand acres and the deal was done on a handshake. Seller financing, handshake, no paperwork, and hundreds of acres worth millions of dollars today traded hands, and then they did it a second time and a third time, and they forged a partnership. And I had no idea that I was studying uh, an example or, or a model for how this might be done. I remember looking at it and saying, wow, that's remarkable. I wish I could engage in a deal like that. Deals like that don't happen anymore. Well, lo and behold, um, I found myself through some creative networking and through some creative thinking and through trying to forge a partnership in a position where I started to propose elements of that and not a handshake per se, but how about some seller financing? Oh, okay, that might work. Well, how about if we structure it this way? And now I'm in the process with a partner, like-minded, who's selling a development and I'm buying one to work together. Was that article that I read like the impetus for this deal? I don't think so. But did I benefit from the fact that I had read that even though I didn't know about it at the time and like did it give me some strength and some motivation and maybe guide me a little bit? Maybe. And so the point of this message is read as much as you possibly can. It may be relevant, it may be irrelevant. Whatever you're looking at could be a guide or a model for your future. Just like this video. You're watching this video, maybe nothing comes of it. But my guess is you'll take something away from it and at some point you'll say, you know, I remember Richard on that video said always be learning. And then I took from that video I tried this, it didn't work there, but it did work here, and now look where I am. And as a result of watching that video, these four things happened. Like Steve Jobs said, those dots connected. So I hope I've encouraged you to always be learning. Try as much as possible. This YouTube channel for me, me being in front of the camera, is a learning episode. I'm in the process of writing a book. Am I learning every single day? My book coaches told me the best books change the authors. So I'm writing it for like me. I'm trying to help as many people as possible through the book. But what I'm actually doing is helping myself and I'm learning and I'm growing. And to that end, earlier today, Charles and I were talking about different things that we can do to help you, the audience, learn. And I think that we're going to start to segment um, the audience. So people that are just getting started, that don't have a lot of understanding about real estate or hosting or whatever, that's a different group versus people that are expert and are growing and are trying to add multiple properties and the education, the content that we can provide there, uh, probably via membership, is going to be different. But I want to encourage you to grow, whether you grow uh, and learn with us, away from us, on the bus, on the, you know, the newspaper, it doesn't really matter. Always be learning. So I hope I've motivated you on this Monday morning to go ahead and keep learning as much as you possibly can. If you like the video, please go ahead and like it. Please leave comments below. That feedback is really helpful for us. And now a personal favor and a request for me. Please, please go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of our first year. I don't know why that's relevant, but it matters to me. If you want to help me out, please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks so very much and happy hosting. I'll see you next Monday.